Hey guys, it's time for a Saturday morning story and we got some new books in this week. This one's so new, it hasn't been processed yet, but it will be processed soon and out on the shelf if you would like to check it out. It's called First Day Critter Jitters and I'm reading it because I love it. I think it's a very good story. And I know it's past the first day of school, but I think if you think back to the first day of school, you might relate. Okay, let's see if I can get to this first page. Hmm, what kind of animal is that? Am I nervous about the first day of school? I mean, sure. After all, have you ever seen how slowly sloths walk? Like, I probably should have left yesterday. Look at him. He's thinking, oh no, this is what I'm going to have to do. I will get to school on time. I will get to... Uh, trust me, you don't want to be late on the first day of school. How many more times do I have to write this? 999. Why am I pacing back and forth? Oh, I'll tell you why. I literally spent all of last night and this morning trying to get a backpack onto my body. Guess what? It didn't work, dude. Oh, how will I carry my art supplies? Where will I put my stuff? Poor snake. Why am I so anxious? Because they're bigger than me. Who's they? All of them. Oh, look at the little mouse. They are bigger. Maybe you're one of the kids that feels like everybody's bigger than you. Am I tense? Yeah. I haven't really spent a great deal of time outside of the pouch, to be quite honest, so this is going to be new for me. Also, I'm cold, and I miss my mom. Maybe next year I'll be ready. Oh, look, he built a kangaroo mom out of sand to sit in the pouch. Hmm. I bet some of you missed your mom while you were at school. I'm feeling skittish. Here's why. I have a tendency to repeat things that other animals say. Like one time, somebody said to me, please stop talking just this once. And then I kept repeating, please stop talking just this once. Please stop talking just this once. Please stop talking just this once. Please stop talking. I have a feeling that's not going to fly at school. Hey, you cut in line. 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 Oh my gosh. Poor guy. I worry that I won't be able to see the chalkboard. How big are chalkboards, by the way? Okay. It's magnifying glass. Uh, me? Um, well, as you can see, I'm not coming out. Can't I just dream about school instead? I have a lot of energy, like a lot of energy. So what if I'm in class and I don't want to, and I want to hop around, but I still have to sit still and sit. I just have so much energy. Time out. So yeah, I've already been traveling toward the bus stop for 20 minutes and I'm still at my front door. I should really learn how to ride a bike. Sheesh. Bye-bye backpacks. Bye-bye lunch. Bye-bye art supplies. I'm exhausted. Aren't I supposed to be hibernating right now? Can't stop popping so much energy. Can't stop popping so much energy. Can't stop popping so much. My eyelids won't stop closing. I'm almost to the sidewalk. I can do this. Just a few more blocks to go. Yes. Feel the burn. Right now my mom and I would be reading a book together and drinking hot chocolate with marshmallows. Do buses have hot, hot chocolate? Sigh. 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 Nope. 
excuse me, do you know what that rock is doing up there? Hello, anybody home? Knock, knock. Maybe it's sleeping. I mean, I get it. Oh yes, <laughs> good morning everybody. I'm your teacher, Mr. Sherwood. Whoa, did that rock just start talking? It's a talking rock. Uh, I'm no rock. As you can see, I'm unfurled. I'm actually an armadillo, but I think I'm gonna remain in this ball shape, at least for a little bit. That's um, sort of how I roll, no pun intended, when I'm nervous. You're nervous? We're nervous. Uh, well, yes, I feel a little bit silly about this, but I have plenty to be nervous about. The truth is, I'm rather forgetful. What if I can't remember all of your names? What if I forget the last thing I said? What if I can't recall where I put the chalk? Hmm. Don't worry, Mr. Sherwood. I may be a tiny mouse, but I have the memory of an elephant. And I'll help you remember our names using a mnemonic device. For example, my name is Chauncey, and I like cheese. See how that works? And I'll repeat everything you say, even when you don't want me to. See how that works? See how that works? And I'll be on chalk duty. Mr. Sher Sherwood, you have to come out of that ball. I'm so excited about everything you have to teach us. I can barely contain myself. Listen, Mr. Sherwood, I know how you feel. Sometimes it feels safer in the pouch or er, ball, but we're all in this together. Yes, I suppose you're right. Thank you, everybody. I'm feeling much better already. Now, how about the mnemonic device? Um, Charlie, was it? My name is Nellie, and I like naps. You can share my textbook. See how he's helping him see up close. Oh, look how they're working together. What's going on there? Munch, munch, munch. Eating lunch. And the teacher let me sit in the front row and the chalkboard was clear. I just saw a hummingbird. He's the same size as me. I managed to stay awake so far. I guess my backpack wasn't all that important. I sat still, at least for a little while, and now it's recess so I can run around a lot. Being out of a pat pouch isn't so scary after all. Being out of a pouch isn't so scary after all. Being out of a pouch isn't so scary after all. Being out of a pouch. I taught my first class and it went pretty well. Nice. We did it. Nice. Um, hi. Am I late? Well, there's always tomorrow. I have an idea. The next day. Whee! Look at how's the sloth getting there. He's giving him a ride. Look at how they're working together. Oh, and look, there's the mouse. I love this part. Hmm. Well, I hope that even though you're probably pretty nervous on your first day of school, that your day went well just like these little critters. Have a great day.